hello welcome back again in the pre previous video i have shown that we have a custom filter uh, here so if we'll try to search uh, the data from using this filter uh, let me show that one so if you'll we'll search this one you can see that this is not working because we have not done any necessary uh, setup on our previous video so let me show the setup uh, in this video so if we'll go to the d365 uh, visual studio then you can see that we have a grid control over here and there you have to specify the data source okay for example in our case employee table is our data source so you have to select this one and uh, just save it using control s okay now just uh, go to this particular quick filter control and from this section you can see that default column is there so if you want to set one uh, default column you can set over here and uh, from the target control you can also set the target control and that for which grid we want to uh, filter the data okay so we can select the grid from here now if we'll select uh, from control now we can see each and every uh, field uh, each and every field of that grid it has actually showing here so if we'll not select here from this section and if we'll save it you will not be able to see any particular uh, column over here over here okay now if you want to set the default column what you have to do here from here you have to select the grid for which you want to filter the uh, column and from here you can select the default column so as i am using the employee id it is having the employee id here so i'll select the employee id okay now you can save all the data that is available here and you have to uh, just you have to build rebuild your project once again and then uh, you can see the data which you want to filter on your form now from this section you can see that our uh, build process completed now we'll go to our uh, uh, front end and we'll refresh this page once again and then you'll be able to see that filter is actually working properly so it will take some time to refresh the page till then please wait now you can see that our page refreshed you can create one more uh, item from here okay just let me keep like this 45 employee name employee okay like this i we i i have just given you can keep any raj or rakesh like this okay now let me show the filter is working or not so if you want to search this particular data 87687 so just type over here just type over here 87 so as you can see that while typing it is showing for which particular column i want to filter the data so if you want to apply it for um, employee id by default you can see there is a right mark because this one is the default one so if you'll uh, so if you'll type over here then you'll be able to say just uh, let me copy this particular data from here and let me paste it and if you'll click over here you can see this particular filter is actually working right so if you'll remove it and if you'll type from there also you can see no uh, data is actually showing because it is searching for the whole data so if we'll copy it and if we'll go above here so, uh, there is a also filter available you can also filter from this section so from there you have to select is is matching or not is greater than or equal to not so you can apply all this kind of filter uh, in this particular field okay as well as if you want to see the filter uh, is actually is act, is exactly means uh, it will uh, search the data with the exact value that you will paste over here okay so for that you have to select here you have to paste over here 
and you can also apply the filter in this section also that is also possible okay and if you want to clear it you can clear from this section to clear the data so this way you can filter the data using the quick filter that i have shown in this particular quick filter that is the custom and quick filter now it's clear how you can use the quick filter in your grid so thanks for watching this video see you in the next one till then take care bye bye